Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a little bit different today. We're going to do a little bit of change of scenery. We're going to do some uh, Forza Horizon 2 championships. I'm going to mess around with this game again. Believe it or not, I'm actually playing this game after Forza Horizon 3. I know, you know, I didn't really play it much before it. I mean, I played it like once or twice. But that was really it. I was more into the Motorsport series, like Forza Motorsports 5, which I still have. But uh, we're going to do some championships. Uh, the difficulties on. I'm sure all my assists are off. Which only makes it better. Makes the races harder. Oh, there's a pitcher back there. I gotta get it. You know how it is. There's only one. Okay. I've only pictured 225 cars. Out of, what is it, 400, I think? Or can I go more? I don't know. First race of the day. Let's see how well it goes. So far, not so well. If I'd stop playing around, it might go better. Get serious now. I do like to drift. I, I love it. I think all the horizons. I always like to drift. It's a lot of fun. Horizon 1 was fun. Although, if you tapped anything in that game, you lost your score. This game is a little bit more forgiving. Horizon 3, you get more points. But it's less forgiving. This game, I, I, this is the most forgiving game. Like, you can tap a wall kind of hard with the front of the car, and it doesn't, it doesn't take it away. Of course, you hit it, you slam it, that's going to take it, but, but, well. In Horizon 3, at times, if you barely tap the wall, you'll lose it. And if they ever drop the price on the... Storm Island, I'll get it, but I still don't want to pay twenty dollars for it. I'm waiting for them to drop it down to like ten or something. Although it is cheaper than the expansion for Horizon Three, but I still don't want to pay twenty dollars for it. For one, it's an older game. I mean, it's still popular. Don't get me wrong, very, but I just don't want to pay twenty dollars for it. But I did buy the Porsche Pass, or the Porsche expansion, but I didn't pay, but uh, I think it was $10 for it, or less? I don't, I don't remember. I got it on sale. And this lovely paint job is not by me, it is by turn 10. They give me this car. I don't know why, let's just give it to me. I do like the paint job, it's pretty cool. Alright, there we go. You're really starting to make a name for yourself. I'm gonna wait till an episode down the road to do my wheel spins. I have a few. Give me another one. No. And I figured out if you I want to do the friends with benefits achievement. The fastest way to do it is you leveled up. Say say you're at a race and it's like a circle, pretty much like a circle track, a circuit. Um, you can beat the rival and then and then select continue lapping and it will it will go towards your money. So you got to get a million dollars for the friends with benefits achievement and it's only worth 10 G which was worth more than that but anyways so if you want the million fast that's about the best way to do it seems to be on every track okay. really that goes well. around in you a circle win this next race and the I uh, I just keep going around I'll do like 20 laps or something 
And also, if you drift around the track as well, the whole time, there's another pitcher. Um, you get a lot of XP for it as well. The most XP I've gotten out of 20 laps, 52,000. So, and it took me about 20 minutes, I think. About a minute, about a minute a lap. It depends how much if you drift non-stop. Uh, but if you drift like non-stop, it'll take you longer, but y you'll get more XP. But it doesn't seem like more or less. If you were to do a race like that on Horizon Three, and you were to keep going around the track, it would you would get a lot of XP, but. On here, you don't have the perks like you do on Horizon 3, so it's not it's not the same. Like you feel like you're going to get more, and, and you don't. You do get like let's see 20 laps of a really short race, about sixty thousand dollars. So I mean, now you have to beat the rival. That's the thing I've noticed. You have to beat the rival to get all that one time and then just go keep going around the track numerous times and then that you know that will go towards that achievement and you know you'll get uh, get a bunch of XP from it all right that's pretty easy another championship in the books I'll go ahead and do one more of this episode. I only do the rivals on if the track is in a circle, because that way I can uh, keep going around. No, I'll do one of All those. Right. Soon. That's it for this road trip. Head back to the festival and we'll kick off the awards party. Fast travel there. I did find all the reward boards, all the fast travel boards. I've done all the... Um, what is it? PR stunts, I guess you could say. All the bucket lists, that's what it is. All the bucket lists. I've done pretty much everything. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is all the championships. And I don't have 175 cars in my garage yet. Turn around when it is safe to do and of so. course, nothing with the... I've done the Porsche, uh, the Porsche back completely 100% all the way through. Um, but... The only thing I don't have is the Storm Island. The only thing I lack... But the price drops. I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely let y'all play it with me. Um, I usually take the shortcut here. Oops. I do wish trees would come down in this game. Like, you hit a tree, it's over with. Be cut to the grass here in a minute. That's what I normally do. Maybe not though. In 400 yards, bear right. Whee! Went flying. Keep right. In 400 yards, turn right. right. Turn right. I turned right. Just kind of cut to the grass there. Same thing I'm going to do here. It works the best. Alright. Gone. Alright, you made it. And now it's time to party before we head out for tomorrow's road trip. Mm, party. I'm just going to hit A really fast. Oh, there we go. Party is over. That was a quick party. Alright, now I get to select me a new championship, and I swear that car was just coming right for me. Okay, probably gonna stay in the area, like I always do. Okay, the champs decided. 
This road trip is heading down to Castelletto. Oh, that car is fast, but do I really want to drive that? I have not drove that yet. That thing is just too quick. It's S1 class. Uh, I mean, that car is fast, but it just doesn't handle that well. Like, that car handles better than that. I guess. Let's see how well this thing drives with no assist on. Probably not that well. road trip? Destination one is Castelletto, down on the coast. This route has some of the best the roads at in times. The Make the most of them. In 400 Just yards, turn right. I'm actually going right back where I was, in a way. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm turn doing all right. the championships between. I'm just keep pushing you, buddy. I guess. Yeah, you can't. The bush, the bush trick that you could do on Horizon 3. You can't really do that on here. The best way to get XP is just either doing the thing with the rivals or um can't see. Or just doing these road trips and events. That's pretty much Well there is one way you could do like uh um, yards turn right. You can get but it's not really it's 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 XP differently. It's like Yeah, you can get like a wheel spin or two out of it, but it, it takes a lot of it. it, it you have to be doing it for like four hours. You just go to the runway, get the Bugatti Veyron right. Super Sport, and uh just drift back and forth and that'd be your way to get put up on the leaderboards for the highest uh skill score. But other than that, there's no real ways to get XP like that. No glitches or anything like that in this game. They pretty much patched it all. More like Horizon 3, if you want to get a lot of money or a lot of XP, and you got some time on your hands, you can do the Goliath or even the Kingmaker in Blizzard Mountain. But and here there's not really a race that is like you can do all the time right. this is a retro supercar championship choose an event and we'll get started unless see that race is on a circle okay I'm gonna go ahead while I'm in here I'm gonna do this race and what I'll probably do is, is I'll start the race and then I'll let y'all see like one lap or something and then I'll finish the race and I'll start oh, I'll figure it out what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna do 20 laps and I'm gonna show you all what I get I don't know how worthy it's gonna be with this car because I don't know how well it drifts but we'll find out here in a minute on my first lap. I don't want to push the episodes over 15 minutes just because I don't think y'all want to watch them that long. So. I'll, I'll try not to take any pictures. It's okay. It's more like all those points I just got were not from drifting, it was more like from passing. Because it was all clean. I'm just gotta be careful on these turns. This car is a little bit fast for this. This episode might go 50 minutes, I'm sorry. 
Um, I'll see y'all when I start the Rivals event. Okay, here we're at the end, so I got $9,000, so that doesn't matter. I got 12,000 XP for drifting around that. Okay, so now, instead of starting this, I'm just going to do this on the next episode. We'll pretty much record right after this one, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a share, and if you're new, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you on the next one. Y'all have a great day. Later.